G'day guys, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to do a manual transmission oil change on this 80 series Land Cruiser. This one's got the H151F 5 speed manual which is common to all petrol and turbo diesel 80s but the video is also going to be applicable to the H150F found in the non-turbo diesel models as well. If you're not sure which transmission your car came with you can also look at the firewall plate in the back of the engine bay which has got the transmission code on there. Now you might notice there's a bit of a change of scenery today from the usual garage setup and we'll talk about that a bit later in the video. For now let's jump right in. We'll just quickly run through all the tools and parts that you're going to need but as always there'll be a full list along with timestamps if you'd like to jump forward in the description. We'll need a drain pan with a minimum capacity of three litres and then some sort of pump for pumping the oil up into your transmission. For the oil itself you're going to want 2.7 litres of a 75W90 API GL4 or GL5 oil. We've chosen to go for Pro Gear by Penrite. You'll need new gaskets for the drain and fill plugs. There's the Toyota part number there. We've got a socket set with a 24mm socket and a torque wrench which is accurate for 27 foot-pounds or 37 newton meters. We've got a flathead screwdriver, some nitrile gloves and safety glasses, and finally some brake and parts cleaner and paper towel for cleaning up any mess. We're down at Omega Works today, which is a new self-service garage that's just opened up in Wangara, north of Perth. They're a family-owned business and it's an awesome atmosphere if you want somewhere to come and work on your car. They've got hoists to suit any vehicle and all sorts of specialist tools and equipment, including tire fitting and balancing machines, parts washers, hydraulic presses, transmission jacks, they've got sandblasting equipment, just about anything you could think of to work on your car, and they can even help you out with sourcing parts and 4x4 accessories like bull bars or suspension. So it's worth checking them out today on Facebook or Instagram. So we've got our manual transmission here, located in between the engine and the transfer case in the middle of the car. Your drain plug and your filler plugs are located just in front of this cross member here. You want to do this after the car's just been driven because that way the oil's warm and it'll flow out more easily. You always want to remove the fill plug before the drain plug and there's two reasons for that. The first is that by removing that, air is able to flow in as the oil flows out which gives you a nice smooth flow. And secondly, if you remove the drain plug first and you're not able to get the fill plug off, you're in trouble. So grab your 24 mil socket on the breaker bar and we're going to crack that fill plug. And then you want to have your drain pan ready to go because you may get a little bit of oil dripping down. So we're going to remove that by hand. And make sure you remove that old gasket. We're going to throw that away and replace it with a new one. This is where the screwdriver comes in handy. You can use that to remove the gasket from the plug. Once you've got the old gasket off, we can clean up that plug because we're going to need to put that back in. Then we'll take that same 24mm socket and crack the drain plug. You'll need quite a short socket to fit in here next to the prop shaft. And then once that's loose, you can reposition your drain pan and we'll just remove that plug by hand. And then same again, make sure you remove that old gasket from the plug and we'll clean that up and replace it with a new one. While you're draining this, it's a good opportunity to inspect the colour of the oil and just see if there's any metal fragments in there, which can give you an idea of wear in your transmission. Once that's had a good chance to drain, you can give it a quick wipe. And then we'll grab the plug with the new gasket on it and thread that in by hand. Then you want to grab your 24 mil socket on your torque wrench and we're going to do up that drain plug to 27 foot pounds or 37 newton meters. Next up you want to pour some of your 75W90 into your hand pump. We'll pop the end up into the fill hole and then we're going to start to pump that in. So again it should take about 2.7 litres and we're going to pump until oil just starts to dribble out of the fill hole. When it comes to disposing of your old oil, you can either put it into the empty oil containers and take it to your local auto parts store, or if you're somewhere like Omega Works, they'll hold onto it and dispose of it for you for a small fee. Once you get close to the 2.7 litres, you want to have your fill plug with a new gasket ready to go, so you can pop that in as soon as it starts to drip out. There we go, it's just started overflowing the edge, so we'll pop that plug in. Then we'll grab the 24mm socket on the torque wrench and we'll do that up to 27 foot-pounds or 37 newton metres. That's it for today. Massive thank you to the guys over at Omega Works for letting us borrow a hoist. It honestly makes it that much more comfortable than rolling around on the ground. If there's anything else you'd like to see in a future video, drop us a comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.